<laughs> bubbles. Interesting. <laughs> I can hit with the bubbles too. All right, let's make a video. Hello, my YouTube friends. I like to have fun on my live streams, and sometimes we do all kinds of crazy things. I might take on different faces and use crazy voices. I mean, it's all in fun. That's kind of the way I think about it. All these voices can make the stream more fun, especially when you pair it up with cool faces. You just never know. What? On. <sighs> you just never. You just never know when crazy things might happen. You're disgusting. So today, I'm going to tell you all about the program that I use to create all these cool voices. You can try it out totally for free, and I'm even going to leave a link at the end to a video where you can learn about how to do all the faces. And they're free too. We got a lot to get to, so you know what? Let's get to it! Here you are ready. I know it looks like I'm on vacation, but really, I'm working. Right now, I'm live streaming. It's unbelievable. Let me tell you how. Just log into Upstream. You're gonna go ahead and click on your media library. You can create a folder if you want. You go over here and you upload files. You just drop your files in here and they're gonna upload for you. Once you do that, you can just create a new stream. And inside that stream, you're just gonna add the videos that you already uploaded. You can take these videos and put them in any order that you want, move them around and adjust them. You can set your settings over here for things like when you want ads to run and stuff like that and pretty much once you're done you can come up here click start stream and you are live streaming 24 7. it's really that easy and if you want to go even farther you can come over here to stream designer and add all kinds of little flourishes that will just add something extra to the stream now the thing i love most about upstream and 24-hour live streaming is it gives me the ability to repurpose old content and give it a new life. But the second best thing is that anytime, day or night, I can pop into that live stream and have a conversation with my audience. That is always really cool. So if you ever wanted to try out 24 hour live streaming, there is a link in the description to check out Upstream. Thank you Upstream for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the content. Now the application I'm talking about today is called VoiceMod and it is basically the only real-time voice changing software that I use for very specific reasons. And I'm gonna get to those reasons at the end of the video, but the first thing I wanna do is show you what it is and how it works. And by the way, there are links in the description down below so you can click on them and check it out. Like I said, you can try VoiceMod out for free. So why not go ahead and check it out and follow along with me? That is the best way to learn. So let's hop in. This is what your voice mod is going to look like when you finally get it downloaded and log in. And you've got a bunch of things over here on the side. The first place you're probably gonna go is into settings. Here you're gonna set up your audio. You're gonna tell it what audio source is gonna be your input, so your microphone. And then down here you're going to tell it what audio source you're going to be listening to in order to hear your voice change. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Now you can go into advanced audio settings and there are some interesting things here. If you notice popping or anything, and this is something you get especially in some of the AI voices, you might want to select that. You can select the voice mod device as the OS default. Now this mic exclusive mode is Kind of important, if you notice that your voice is not lining up with your video, this is one of those things that can really help improve the response time just in case that happens to you. Now, if we go into general, you can see pretty simple stuff. Do you want it to start with Windows? Do you want it to start in the system tray? Um, minimize to the tray after closing and ask before updating. Pretty self-explanatory. And then you can actually import and export your settings so that you can save them and you're never going to lose your favorites and that sort of thing, which is pretty helpful. And then over here we have keybinds. And this can come in handy if you're using a stream deck or streamer bot or something like that to activate your voices. So you can have it turn the voice changer on or off and pretty much all kinds of other stuff. And I use the toggle version, but you can just have a button that turns it on 
and a button that turns it off. And the same thing with the hearing yourself on and off. Now all of these things are sliders that are also down here that you can physically just turn on and off whenever you want. So that's pretty much all of the settings that you're gonna mess around with. Let's go down here to the bottom and I'll kind of explain what this stuff is. Hear Myself obviously turns on the headphones so you can actually physically hear your voice. It's gonna be a little disconcerting because it does have a slight delay. So I don't use it very often unless I just wanna hear what the actual voices sound like. Other than that, I keep this pretty much off all the time. And then Voice Changer is going to actually physically activate the voices over here. You can mute your microphone. You can adjust the audio volume here, the voice changer volume, the actual volume that you're going to be hearing it through your headphones, and then beep out volume and system output volume. So you've got a lot of different volumes here that you can mess with. This is the beep button. So if you just wanna add beeps to your audio, you can just click that and it will beep. And then this right here uh, will connect to the voice mod controller, which is a thing that you could put on your phone so that you can actually set it up and control the different voices directly from your phone. Very, very easy to set up and lots of fun. So up here you've got contact and license and that's pretty self-explanatory. Up at the top, if you have any notifications, they're gonna be up here, their connection to Discord which is a great place to get any kind of help if you need it. And then of course, a get help. So over here on the left is the juice that we're looking for, voice box. Now, when you first log in, if you're on a free account, you're not probably going to have favorites, but you're gonna have freebies up here. And it's a rotating collection of different voices that you can mess around with. And again, it doesn't serve any purpose to favorite anything if you're on a free account because those voices rotate relatively constantly. Anytime that you have any of these selected, you're gonna see more information over here. So for this one, you've got some character choices. You can either have it modify your own voice or you can have it modify some other voices like that. And then you can even adjust the pitch and the strength and the voice volume, and you can add keybinds. So if you wanted to select this with keybinds, well, you can add them right here. You can see for the Speechifier, I've got a key bind in here, right here. And you can change the skin on it and all that sort of stuff. But you've got all the same kind of things. Some of them have background effects, which add a little bit of background noise or something like that into the effect to give it a little bit more ambience. And you can see down here, we have a key bind. You can add a key bind to any of your favorites which makes it really easy to use StreamerBot or Stream Deck to activate these anytime that you want. Now, a lot of these different voices have different selected options. This particular one is pretty simple. So it just has a pitch and mix and a voice volume control, but some of them have all kinds of other things. It just depends on the voice and all that kind of stuff. So. This one has noise reduction and automatic gain. It has some background effects. You can change the voice age. In other words, what age it sounds like. So every different one is going to have different types of choices over here. So these are the ones that are in my favorites list, but we can go down here and create a custom voice if we like, or we can select from any one of these other voices that are down here. And there are hundreds of voices. As you can see, some of them are AI, some of them are meant to replicate famous people, and we have other AI ones that are just different voices that were created. And then we have ones that aren't AI, that are just pretty standard, but I like the non-AI voices better in a lot of cases, because it just seems like you can tweak them more and get what you want. These are the real-time voice changers, but you can also set up soundboards. And for the soundboards, you can select from hundreds of different audio sources and sounds, and you can put them in your soundboard so that you can set those up with key binds and select them at any time for any kind of goofy sounds that you might wanna have on your live stream. It's very, very cool. And as you can see here, You've got more than 150,000 community sounds and everything that you can add to your soundboard. And that soundboard can be used in Stream Deck or StreamerBot or anything else that you wanna to use to make it easier for you to automate your stream. Voice Lab is basically something that allows you the opportunity to add your own 
custom voice. So you can just select this and it brings up a whole bunch of options. So in this case, I want a women's voice. She should be young. Um, you know, all that sort of stuff. You can change the pitch and the format. And I want my woman's voice to have a robot in it too. And then we can adjust that and that. And I want it to sound like it's in, you know, a huge room or something. So we can add delay or echo or anything. You can basically put together any type of voice that you want right in here. You can get exactly what you want. Very, very cool. If you want your voice to just tune to a certain pitch, you can do that right here. Key C, major scale, you can do minor scales. It's, I mean, the kind of things that you can do to create whatever voice you're looking for in the voice lab is awesome. And then you just come over here and you name your voice and you save it and bottom bang, you're going to have it in your voice box. Community sounds. This is stuff that's getting added all the time. These are hundreds of different community audio files that are uploaded that you can add to your soundboard anytime you want and use them <laughs> like it says. There are hundreds of these, more than 150,000. So we've got memes and music and games and anime and basically anything that you can think of. They also have community created voices, people who already went into the voice lab and created voices. Some of these things are gonna sound like specific things that you might be looking for, like Cartman or SpongeBob or Darth Vader. So if you don't find what you're looking for in the voice box, well, you can come down here and find them all in the community voices. And of course, you can add these to your favorites and all that kind of stuff and use them anytime you want. Uh, down here in the creators tab, we have got Voice Mod Live. This is a Twitch plugin that will allow you to let users use bits to change your voice in real time and probably do things on the soundboard as well. And then, of course, you can join the voice mod partner program if you like. Um, you can go down here to guides if you're running into problems and you don't understand why something is not connecting. You can go up here, find some information that will get you in the right direction so that you can change up your voice in whatever application you want. And of course, OBS isn't up here, but I'm going to show you OBS because it's really simple. And then, of course, here you've got your account. You can join the partner program and log out. And that's pretty much it. It's a very simple program, very effective, very easy. If I want to use a voice, all I have to do is click on the voice that I want to use, and then I can just flip the voice changer, and bada bang, there we go. We are using that voice. It's really that easy. If I wanted to just change voices, I can select voice right here. I can all use hotkeys to do any of that stuff. So, it's really just So what we're going to do is go ahead and click the plus and we're going to go to video capture device and you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to click OK. We're going to drop this down, select the camera we want. Then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and we're going to use a custom audio device. And I'm going to drop this down and select the microphone virtual audio device from voice mod right here. Boom. Now when we activate our voices in voice mod, they're going to come through in OBS. If you do something like gaming where you don't have a camera in there, it's all right. Go ahead and just click the plus. You go to audio input capture and you can call this voice mod or whatever you want. And then you just drop this down, select the same thing. Voice mod virtual audio device. And now you've added your voice mod microphone in here so that when you talk and you have a voice active, it's going to change your voice. And when you don't have a voice active, it'll still hear your regular voice. So it's that easy to add a camera with the voice mod microphone or just a simple microphone. And by the way, it's going to work the same way for any other application like Zoom or Discord or anything else. Just select the voice mod microphone in the microphone selection and you can use voice mod in literally any application. So there you have it. Now I said before I did the tutorial that there were specific reasons why I think voice mod is the right choice for anyone looking to do real time voice changing. What is real time voice changing? What's the kind of voice changing that you would use on a live stream? 
it's going to do it immediately. It's not something that you're doing in post, in editing. It's going to do it in real time. And the reason why I think voice mod is the best choice is because it's very difficult to find a real time voice changer where your voice and the video are gonna line up. Voice mod is by far your best chance to actually accomplish that. Everything else that I've played with has been off. The second big reason why I think voice mod is the best choice is basically the pricing structure. Now sure, they do give you access to a lot of free stuff, but that free stuff rotates all the time. So you don't really know what you're going to get. You can try everything out, you can mess with it, and you can get to know whether you like it or not, but inevitably, if you're going to use it in your live streams, you're gonna to wanna to have access to the same voices all the time. And if you want that, you're gonna inevitably pay for it. And that's where I think voice mod really shines. The reason why it really shines is because they're not going to force you to pay for it every single month. They offer a monthly payment plan. I think it's $10 or something like that. And you can certainly pay for it every month if you want but they offer a one-time payment. I think it's $40, which is pretty reasonable, and it's lifetime. You never have to pay for it again. There are no other AI voice changers out there that I'm aware of that will allow a one-time payment. They're gonna nickel and dime you every single month, every single time, and in my opinion, they don't do real-time voice changing very well to begin with. So. I think voice mod is the best choice for people looking for real time voice changing, but that's just my opinion. Maybe you know of a better solution or one that you really like. Let me know about it down in the comments. Now, if you wanna see how I did the face changes at the beginning of this video, well then you're gonna to wanna to check out this video. It's gonna show you how to do it. And by the way, it's totally free. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.